stopped on the side of the road at the scenic overlook area. Before it gets to you, it's pretty cool. It's like some creep, like, I don't know if that's bullet holes or they just hit it, the sign with something. Oh, somebody damaging shit. This is me off. Anyway, look at all this beauty out here. That's awesome. I finally made it to the Gia cliff dwellings. Man, the road that I took to get here was crazy. It was the most narrow, winding road I've ever been on. And there was hardly any room for both cars. Uh, for oncoming traffic on both lanes um, to barely get by but luckily there wasn't a lot of people on the road coming over here it's a nice area I can hear running water down there I guess it's a stream none of the facilities are open though there's no restrooms uh, Visitor center is closed. But they're supposed to open up the trail here at 9 o'clock. So I still got about 35 minutes. Yay, they opened the gates and I made it. So they said this is an hour long hike. And some of it's a little steep. And you eventually make your way into the dwelling area in the caves. And I think that's all he said. Oh, and you just said about not touching anything, of course, and yeah, I had to wash my hands before I went on the trail just now, and uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, this is a narrow trailer. Trail. So this is 6,000 feet up in elevation. Not too bad. I compared to the one that I did in Cloud Cross. That was almost 10,000 feet in elevation. That was pretty far down there. these cliffs. That's awesome.
red lizard. Just sun tanning. That is one big cave. Look at that. That was smart to put this here. When the Indians settled right here. That's awesome. I think you can actually go up this. Look at this view they woke up to every morning. Yeah, I love the ceiling is here. And your voice echoes in your... Hey! That's cool. It's just me and uh, another group of people here. That's about it. Uh, looks like it's the end of the road. My dad told me down there at the visitor center that there's either a rock slide or they're doing maintenance on the trail. So you have to go back the way you came.
the sign fell over. Like an area where they did cooking. That was so cool to see this stuff. And what a perfect place that they picked to put these dwellings here. I mean, you're protected from the weather. I'm almost certain protected from most enemies. I don't know who's going to make this trek all the way up here just to steal corn on the cob. 